to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Bisons and the Steamers, next on EA Sports. Now from just east of the Mississippi River, EA Sports welcomes you to the home of the Blues, Memphis, Tennessee. Today, it's the preseason opener for these two teams, and it should be a good one between the Oklahoma City Bison and the Memphis Steamers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and we finally made it, partner, through the winter, through the spring, now into the summer, and football finally back. And during that time off, we all cherish our vacation time, but admit it, you're the same as me. When you were working out, when you were doing things, you thought about football, didn't you? And you couldn't wait to be back up here again. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Memphis. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by an exciting athlete, fourth overall pick of the draft out of Florida, Anthony Richardson. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. They run with the All-Pro from a couple of years ago, Jonathan Taylor. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Second down and six now. Now it's Richardson. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Richardson. He'll get this one to Pittman. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Back deep, Naheem Hines. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the pride of Wyoming in his sixth season with one of the league's strongest arms, Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Josh Allen, he says that he wants to continue to perfect executing the run pass option. Looked pretty good there. And he's put in the minds of all people trying to defend him that his legs create big plays. So guess who benefits? His running back. You no doubt about it. We just saw it there. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Now Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. 
Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? First and 10, Taylor now. Fighting throw. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a 13-yard pickup as the downs reset. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper and second down. But that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Quick throw into the hands of Pittman. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Richardson over the middle into the hands of Woods and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's his first catch and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Taylor going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's Taylor again. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bisons are on the board first here this afternoon. And the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor, He's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football, but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come. And he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. On the return, it's Naheem Hines. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Allen running the option to the left. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Able to find the open man. That's complete. It's a big play there on third down. And even 40 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. 
And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now Allen. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now first catch there for the rookie, Kincaid. He's got a first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Personal foul. Face man. Defense. Well, you hate that defensively. They had him pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. Here's Allen to throw it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dalton Kincaid with an amazing diving catch. And the Steamers are an extra point away from drawing level. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? All the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Richards into the air on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. First and 10, it's Richardson. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Oklahoma City has the football here to begin the second quarter. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and nine. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. He'll dump this off to Sermon complete. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And third and eight now. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice short tackle. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. 
Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards to pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10 to the air Allen that's caught by his tight end Dawson Knox and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory another nice gain 16 yards there at a first down again and again it's Allen pass caught it's Justin Shorter so give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. The veteran who spent last season in Denver, it's Latavius Murray. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll run here. It's Murray. He juked him. And he's taken down inside the 30. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Right, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On first down, Murray. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Again, it's Murray. And he'll get it down this time in the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And now they'll throw with Allen. Down to the 10. And down to the 7 yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count. And a 5 yard penalty ensues. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Allen off the play fake. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Throwing now is Allen. Going with a screen for Murray. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Damian Harris taking it in from four yards out. And the Steamers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. 
This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. From the end zone, this is Mickens. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. Minshew sets to throw. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Now third down and seven. Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And that's going to make it fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. On the return, Johnson. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And they will take over first and ten. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Now their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, it's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap, allows their defense to play with a little more verb and confidence. A big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. To throw, it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And that's good for a gain of six. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Allen now on first down. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. They'll try the right side with Murray. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Allen now looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Back to the ground game. Here's Murray. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. That was a really nice run there to bring them third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. On third down, Murray. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 46 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Operating from the red zone now. Allen gets this to his running back, Naheem Hyde. 
Hunt. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Harris fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all, down to the two. Only a yard that time, second and goal. At the two-yard line. Murray is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now they'll run. Murray. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Latavius Murray taking it in from two yards out. And the Steamers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Here's Bass now for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it culminates with a Latavius Murray touchdown run. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. But not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And his throw is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Minshew, and this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every... And then she with nowhere to go, and they take him to the ground. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. 
So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. All right, In our coach, game, thanks very much. Most of the starters have made their cameo and back departed, for quarter but number three. plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Second half starts with a run by Murray. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. A shotgun handoff. This is Murray now. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. They'll say no gain on the play there. And now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen from the gun on third down. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And they'll run with Sermon to begin the drive. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Again, it's Sermon. And he'll get this one out to about his 14. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Johnson on the return. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. From the 47, it's second and five. It's the game of five. Brings up second and five. Up the middle, Murray. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. But now he appears to be in some pain. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Third and four. Here's Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. First target, first catch, and a first down. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. 
And it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 29 yard line. They give up the gut for Murray. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throw left side complete. That's Murray. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Yeah, third down. You know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play force for it down. Latavius Murray unable to lower those shoulders and get the first. And as a result, possession switches hands. So an interesting decision at this stage of the game to go for it. Do you think maybe that missed field goal earlier had anything to do with it? If it did, I'm really surprised because usually one miss is not enough to alter your game plan. My only thought is maybe he got hurt or maybe they just understand that it's not his day for some other reason we don't know right now. But in general situations, you run him back out there and let him have another chance. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Uh, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Sermon now on first and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Off play action, it's Minshew. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us? No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A yard all they need, but it's third down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll come on to kick this one away. That's what the punt goes for, five on the return. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. 
On second down, it's Sermon. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Johnson to return it. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Give them a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. Now Allen. He finds his man complete. It's Murray. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. A loss on that play. And now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Movement there on the offensive line. A little quick. And a five-yard penalty. False start. Offense. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Here's Allen to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Now Minshew on first and 10. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different look. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. And a huge play that time. 46 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Up the middle, here's Sermon. And he's got it to about the 40. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Here's a second and eight. Back now in Memphis, Tennessee. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Here's Minshew. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. So the completion good for just three. And now third down and six to go. Now Minshew. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays harder to move it. 
So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Here's Allen on first and ten. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Carries piling up. It's Murray again. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick, more than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on here to punt it away. Here's Mickens to return. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. The drive starts with a carry by Sermon. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Minshew sets to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They'll set up the screen for Sermon. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. A 40-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call, mark off the five, and keep it moving. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. Allen off the play fake. That goes out wide to Murray. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 36 yards on the play. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. On play action, Allen. Wide open receiver complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A 
Good pick up there, 26 yards. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Kyle Allen scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Steamers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And the lead is up to 18 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second down, Minshew. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the Aaron pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that. And Minshew with nowhere to go, and they take him to the ground. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And the fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Here is third down at four. They'll send a receiver in motion left. A 20th carry coming up now for Murray. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They're going to run it with Murray. And down inside the 15, shot on the 10. Fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. Again, it's Murray. And shedding through the tackle. And well, they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Latavius Murray ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Steamers are able to add on to that lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. 
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. To return is Jadon Mickens. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. On second and ten, it's Minshew. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. This pass reeled in by Hull. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown! Evan Hull, 67 yards. And the Bisons are able to cut into that deficit. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. A handoff. It's Murray. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They go with Murray again. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38 yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Brings up third and five. Now a give. This is Murray. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. No gain on the play. It's fourth down. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So 